Good afternoon, Christian sisters. I hope your day is going well. But if you think about it, isn't every day a joyous day in the Lord if we keep our mind and heart focused on Him? Which kind of brings me to what I wanted to talk about. I just did a video on love, lip service love, what Christians are saying. They love people and they really don't. They're lying. And after I was done with that, I was kind of thinking about how I always end up doing videos about what we're supposed to be doing. And Jim just talked to um, a brother yesterday, a very young one. I think he's like 18 or so, new in the faith, struggling. He's he's in a family that he's got a lot of troubles with. But anyway, to move on from that, he was telling him, you know, there are a lot of things we have to do, but we have to remember the reason why we do that is our focus on God and what he's done for us and why we do what we do is our love for him because he's because of what he's offering us you know the hope of eternal life he's given a son to die for us that anybody who will repent and be born again and strive through in obedience and endure to the end can have that hope of eternal life that's why we do what we do christ went to the cross to die for our sins and that is why we as believers are obedient to the scriptures and do what we do. It's not just a set of rules. It is out of love that we act in obedience. So anyway, I just wanted to read some scripture verses about how beautiful and how awesome and wonderful and loving our God is. So let's start with the first one, God is love, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Our God is a God of sacrifice for us. Ephesians 5, 2. And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Our God is a God of strength. Ephesians 5, 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And he's a God of protection. Ephesians 5.11. I'm sorry, Ephesians 6.11. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Our God is a provider. Philippians 4.19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That's beautiful. Our God is also a God of promises. 2 Corinthians 7 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. In this world of trials and troubles, our God is a comforter. 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comfort us, us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in many trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Our God is a God of hope. Romans fifteen thirteen. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. And, of course, our God is a God of eternal life. 1 John 5.11 And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. That's pretty awesome. Well, I hope all these have been an encouragement to you as they have for me. Have a joyous day, sisters. May God be praised.